Welcome back everyone this is chapter 23 we are going to learn about how to create a yum repository for the demonstration purpose i am going to use a media file which is 8 gb it's a 8 gb dvd disk i have downloaded the centos iso from the centos official site it's around 7.8 gb in size i have banned that image iso image to the one of the media 8 gb disk and now i have inserted in my tray and i am going to show the device which will be reflected at the server dave s0 is my cd rom okay this is the cd rom uh, currently i don't have the any mount point slash mount i have the mount point slash mount is there but at now i have not mounted any cd rom so i am going to mount the cd rom under slash mnt it has been mounted once i go into the mount slash mnt i can see all the files inside the media okay so uh, here we are going to create the local m repository now okay to see all the default repository files under etc m dot repo dot d this is the default location of the repo file okay here we can see some of the files i have moved into the bck directory i have created uh, before some days back i have created the bck directory and i have uh, backup to all the original repository files by default while we are installing the centos we will get all this repository files so i don't want this files right now uh, i have moved all the this repository file under the bck directory okay so we want to go back in this location etc m dot repo dot d the repository file want to be created all the repository file you can keep any name for the repository file but the extension want to be finish with dot repo so here i am going to create a file called local dot repo okay now the time to enter the entries for this local dot repo file so i am going to edit the file local dot repo the first line want to be just any name local repo okay the name of the name of the repository want to be local underscore centos 7 and the base url which url from which url the file want to uh, download or whenever we are going to use this repository for that base url is equal to file colon 3 slash and mnt the two slashes are whenever you are going to use the local file system to point the repository you want to use this local file system so it's file colon slash slash okay but slash mnt is the, there are three slashes the slash mnt is which we are going to point the under the root the mnt directory was under root okay whether you want to enable this uh, repository to use yes enabled is equal to one the number one is equal to we are going to enable if i am going to use the zero the repository will not be used and the gpg check gpg check whether whenever the package installed from this repository whether the uh, gpg key want to be checked yes it want to be checked for if you want to check the key whenever you are going to use any install any package from this repository just provide with one if you if you don't want to use with this key check just put zero okay here for the demonstration purpose we are going to use the key so i am giving the number one and which file want to be used for that insert slash mount and uh, uh, already i have highlighted and copied the that file gpg key is equal to this this is the file okay the file is under slash mnt slash mnt so the it also it also a local file so i want to mention with file colon double slash then slash mnt and it's under the slash mnt mount point okay 
Now just save and quit from this file using WQ exclamation. Let me show the file uh, key file. This is the key file I have shown, copied. It's under slash mnt. Okay. Now let me try to install in another package so that it will download the file, the repository, uh, the required package from this local repository. Okay. Just yum clean all yum repo list. I am going to check whether the repository which I have created locally is uh, working or not. So if I am going to issue this command, it will show see the name which we have created local underscore repo. The files are downloading from this repository. So it's a local repository. The repository name is local underscore send device 7. Okay. Let me try to install one of the package. Yum install IP traf. Okay. It's one of the monitoring tool. This is a virtual machine, so it's taking a little bit of time. We have seen the package has been installed. Like that, we can install any one of the package. Yum install Firefox. I don't require Firefox this for this server. Anyway, just for testing purpose, I am showing you see how quick it's downloading right now it's downloading from the local repository the location of the repository is local repository which i have created and mentioned in that uh, file local.repo thus we can create a local repository uh, by using any one of the media uh, or even using a iso file we can create the uh, repository let us see in next tutorial about how to manage the packages using yum we have seen how to create the yum repository right now following we can see how to manage the packages using yum whenever you have the yum repository created we can uh, manage the yum packages the packages using yum if not there is if there is no repro yum repository we can't able to manage any one of the packages using yum the full form of the yum is yellow dog update manager Thanks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by right, uh, clicking on the right GNU logo. Thank you.